Hello everyone, I'm Watson. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to set our IPOE IP cameras over a thousand feet. So a thousand feet, approximately 325 meters. This already exceeds the 100 meter limit for our PoE transmission. PoE that transmits power and data through a single ethernet cable, it has a lot of benefits, but its only weakness is it can only go 100 meters. After 100 meters, we're gonna need for, uh, help from all kinds of devices to repeat and expand our network. So today we're going to talk about two solutions that can help us expand the network. So right here I have a regular PoE switch right here. This can help us out, uh, transmit a PoE signal from these four ports and I have an IP camera right here. So we're going to imagine the distance between these two are, is a thousand foot, maybe approximately 325 uh, meters. So we're going to have to think of a way to expand the network. The first way, we have two ways. One way is by using our PoE, uh, PoE extenders. And PoE extenders, once we daisy chain them, it can repeat every 100 meters every time it reaches a new extender. It seems a lot of troublesome because to reach 1,000 feet, which is 325 meters, we're going to need at least three of these. So this, our PoE signal can go 100 meters to this PoE extender. So that would be 100 meters, then 100 meters go again to the second PoE extender, and then that would be 200 meters in total. And then this one, and this will release to 300 meters, and we're going to have to use one more PoE extender on this side, so a total of three extenders, so 100, 200, and 300, and 25, 28 meters after this last extender. That's very troublesome. Daisy chain does have some uh, conveniences, such as we can add multiple other devices during the process if we use these one input to output extenders. But, uh, you know, it's sometimes we just want a clean long distance transmission with there's not, we don't have to mess around with anything in the middle. So the first method is like this, just using daisy chaining. You can use one input, one input, one output extenders or one input, two output extenders. They both can repeat 100 meters and the output is the same as well. So the first method is troublesome and is not that, it's kind of like a lot of work. So now I'm going to introduce the second method. The second method, we don't use these one input, two output extenders. The second method we call is a 300 meter extension kit. When you ex purchase this 300 meter extension kit, you'll find two one input, one output extenders within. So we, one of these, and then if we daisy chain them, usually it is the PoE signal goes to the input port and goes repeat and transmits out of the output port, and then reaches the second extender's input port and it transmits out at the output port repeated again. So that's basic daisy chain method. But now we have a new one. The first extender, we flip it away, flip it around. We let the PoE signal hit the output port first. So the PoE signal goes to the output port first, and then the two input puts face to each other. And then the two input puts facing each other will create a 300 meter distance trans for transmitting the PoE signal. It's really amazing. So basically, 100 meters to the first extender and 300 meters between and another 100 meters at the sec end of the second extender going to our IP camera. So theoretically, we have 500 meters in total. That is really amazing. So now, since we know that this method works, uh, I'm just going to show you guys a simple connection. I'm going to use two short patch cords to simulate 100 meters on both ends and this kind of longer Ethernet cable on the, in the middle to simulate five, the 300 meters. Now let's take a look at how it is done. So we first just take off the caps for easy display. These are the waterproof glands. We do use them if we're burying these outside. These are really important because water does damage to our devices. So the first ethernet cable goes to our PoE switch and out facing, you can see that facing the output port, really important. And then the output port, input port, connects one end of the long ethernet cable and the other input port connects to the other end. And then finally, another ethernet cable connecting to, connecting to the output port of the final extender. And then we just simply connect our ethernet cable to our PoEIP camera. 
So this means this power has reached it already, means this method is totally workable. And after the self-diagnosis, our camera will be online and we can just watch it on our monitor. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions about these two methods, feel free to leave them in the section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching today and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.